So we do it every October and this year is no different. This is our second annual breast cancer apparel exclusively here at Common Hype. As you guys know, last year we did something with the Banner Health Foundation and we donated a portion of our proceeds to the Banner Health Foundation in support of their pink bus. And the pink bus travels across the US to help identify early detections of breast cancer. The support we had last year was absolutely incredible and this year we're trying to go even bigger. So let's talk about the pieces dropping here at Common Hype. Number one, we've got our Common Hype breast cancer shorts. We can Kept these simple. We have just a pink CH on the bottom left. We were thinking about putting the breast cancer logo on the bottom right of the short, but we thought it would be more wearable for you guys to actually just wear it with the pink CH right here. Some key little details on the new shorts. Not sure if we've talked about them, but we've got a new custom common high hang tag on each of the shorts, a new inside tag with uh, a variation of our common hype logo and now the size tag is actually on the main tag so also in celebration of october and breast cancer month we have pink shipping bags so while supplies last we'll ship everything out anything that you guys order like shorts we'll ship them out in a pink shipping bag now, unfortunately if you guys order hats you're not going to get the pink shipping bag but the hats this is our best hat that we've ever done on the new hats you got the 3d ch on the front of the hat we fixed the brim a little bit so it's not as long a couple of the hats we had were a little longer on the brim but now they are perfect. They're just like our autos that we originally started with when we first started hats. On the side patch, we've got hype or hope, whichever way you want to interpret that. We thought this was unique just because breast cancer logo can almost dual serve as a Y in the letter hype, obviously common hype. So that's where we got that idea from. So that was really, really clean. As you guys can see the stitching and the details on that is fabulous. On the back, super, super clean. And obviously, of course, on the inside, we have common hype inside tag plus inside branding with an all new sweatband for more durability, which means more wear out of the hats for you guys. That is our breast cancer collection that is now releasing. You guys should be able to shop this collection now exclusively online and in both of our HQ and Scottsdale locations, commonhype.com if you guys wanna support. Again, we are doing a big donation at the end of the month with Banner Health. We'll go over there, we'll shoot a little clip with them. We'll, they'll give us an update on where the pink bus is actually at right now. Um, and then we'll write them a check. And again, we know a lot of you guys watching have uh, families with history of breast cancer. Obviously it hits close home to us because Drew's aunt suffered from breast cancer, but the Banner Health Foundation was able to save her. So we really have uh, some giving back to do. And this is one of the things that we really enjoy. So hopefully you guys can purchase something. You guys can rock it confidently. I um, mean, just know the quality is absolutely insane on this collection. Two unboxings right here. Both are gonna be the same thing. Picked up some more of these Core Red 350s. The reason why is because we just can't keep them in stock. Now with two locations, I am buying heavier than ever now. If you guys want, hit the link in the description down below. I know in a couple past videos, it wasn't there, it's there now. So go hit that Discord link. You guys can sell me shoes from wherever you are. You could be in Germany, Turkey. We buy from all those countries. Or you could be US based, Canada. I will buy shoes from you. You guys can ship them here, we check them, and then, then we get you paid out. And then obviously when we go to these events, we will be cashing out hard. You guys are gonna see a little bit of a different cash out video. You may have already seen it if we posted the video, um, but we're also gonna do basically a different variation of cashing out just to see how that video performs. But so let's get into to the rest of the video. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're starting the video off at our Scottsdale location. As you guys can see, progression is being made. Drew's here holding it down. We got the boys and uh, and the ladies. We got Alyssa over there. And we're getting all the shoes up onto the shelves so we can see how much shelf space we have. And then we're gonna organize the pairs. How do you wanna do it, Drew? I don't know. We're thinking dunks, dunks and easies in the front. Yeah. It is a mall front location, so we need to be kind of cautious of what we're putting in the front because that's the first thing people are gonna see as they walk by. So Tempe location's a little different. We still want the best up front, but we want people to get their eyes. Right we'll see how it comes out. We got all the pairs here. We have a bunch more pairs still on the way. This is just kind of what's here first. So everything's getting out on the floor right now. And we got a quick tour. We ended up doing these racks in the back. It made my dreams come true. Made the back wall black as well. So we actually painted this and then we have white mirrors as opposed to the black mirrors kind of behind you guys. We're gonna do a white mirror on the black wall just to contrast a little bit to the pop. And then we also are gonna add a little bit more lighting here in the back. The lighting got a lot darker as we stepped back out here. So as we come over here, the lighting is pretty much okay over here. We need to do another TV. I don't know what happened to the other one. Okay, it got broken transit. Or Best Buy sent us it broke, I don't know. One of the two. I definitely broke it myself, but Best Buy, it wasn't me. <laughs> we have the TVs over there. We're gonna do some, probably some little shelving out of the TVs and then everything else is just gonna be pairs. So everything's kind of a mess right now. You guys can see over here, there's no rhyme or reason to this shelf. For example, 
Um, but we're gonna make sure everything kind of gets organized by SKU and also by style, um, stuff like that. So it's gonna look really good, but we're gonna update you guys as we go throughout the day. And then this grand opening is gonna be Saturday, October 8th. Again, me and Brandon, we're gonna be in Boston for the Got Soul event, but Drew's gonna be holding it down here. This video is actually posting on Saturday. So grand opening is today. If you guys wanna come check it out, you guys are gonna see the finalized product somewhere in this video. We'll make sure that it gets up for you guys before Saturday, but that's the current update. That's how we're starting it off today. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, we'll keep you guys updated as we continue throughout the rest of the week. All right, you guys, so it's now like three o'clock in the day. We've been here for four or five hours and we have pairs on the shelves now. You guys can see it looks pretty good. Only thing is they're bringing about 350 to 300 more pairs back over here right now so we can get some new SKUs onto the shelves. You guys can see there's still a bunch of shelving that's not being utilized right now. So anyway, they're coming with more pairs right now. We're gonna give you guys another update tomorrow once clothing racks are in, uh, clothing racks in the back are in, all the rest of the mirrors are up. Hopefully we have some fixes in the lighting in the back since it's a little dark and we're gonna probably rearrange all the shoes. So that's just a current update for today. Today's Wednesday. Again, we're opening Saturday or today for you guys watching the 8th, which is a Saturday. Saturday, so anything for Warmby? No, just crazy to be in a mall. We've talked about being in a mall. We've always talked about if we were gonna be in a mall, we wanted to be in Scottsdale, and we're officially in Scottsdale now. Yeah, it is it's pretty, it's pretty nutty. nutty. It's really wild to think about, so. We're excited, and uh, again, you guys are gonna get a recap of the whole grand opening later next week, uh, once we're officially in here, quote unquote. Wow, first impression. Give me your thoughts. Wow, it looks good with the shoes on. Yeah. All right, you guys, we're gonna send Ben back to HQ to edit up this footage, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, today we're in the warehouse. We have some unboxings. We got the boys actually packing up some stuff right now to get over to the Scottsdale store, which you guys are gonna see basically at 90% done at the end of this video. And then again, Ben and Drew are gonna stay back this weekend, get you guys a nice video of the grand opening over there where me and B are in Boston for God's soul. Real quick, we got a fit check Jace today. He's gotta start it off, because he's I'm, I'm digging the fit. Oh, uh, we got some Brava Studios Gucci uh, little slides, little custom piece. EE sweats that I got from Brian personally when they went on their little trip to Florida. Miami vibes, all right. Miami had to pick it up. And then little 90s Charles Barkley vintage, you know, Rally the Valley. Let's go, Suns. Super cozy. The rest of the boys while we're here. So my fit's not as good as that, man. Can't show my fit after his fit. That's pretty simple. Got some Sakai's. I like those though. Orange paisleys with the soy sauce on it. Sauce. We had we had Panda Express at Fashion Square today and it spilled. Happens. It happens, happens man. Happens. Nothing crazy with me, just you know, neutral grays, regular pants, Metallica shirt, you know, just basic vibes. Nothing crazy. There we go. I got the uh, paisley dunks. Super fire. Big haven't broke them out in a while. Got the Carhartt shorts, shop to uh, Des for more heat, the no fear bandana, strawberry blank tee, and had today because I just got blessed no by my way. boy Cash just faded me up last night. Have you seen that vine? Just got faded. Ah ha ha. Just got faded. Ah ha ha. Gotta find that clip. <laughs> Gotta find that clip. All right, we got some boxes today. We have some foam runners. What are these? Ochres? Ochres. I don't know, man. They all look the same. All these colorways look the same. Two pairs of those. Uh, both size 13. Big fit boys. We got them. Commonhype.com. We got two dunks right here. Two tone grade schools. Super fire. They also did the new other gray and white pair. It's like called white gray. And it's like a reverse two tone. It's a pretty clean one too. So got a bunch of those in stock. This box is full of this shoe. And Brandon, tell them what you think about these. I don't want to burn the loop yet. Just know there's a call coming up. Just know there's a call coming. I think they're fire though. A little aged midsole, white and gray upper, gray Jordan 1, great price point. Can't go wrong. We got some great school sizes. Four and a half through seven youth. Ladies, if you're watching, I know you are. Commonhype.com. And last big box of the day. Big pack of dunks. Let's see what we got. The, uh, the black white joints. Looks like we got a bunch of sizes in here. We also already have some here at the store. So you guys can look forward to finding those. I want to show you guys real quick. We're moving a bunch of clothing over to the Scottsdale location. And we just got a bunch of the new bape in. We can walk through it. This shit's pretty wicked. Got a bunch of different styles, colorways, big heads, zipper tees, camo, camo, some baby Milo, more camo. We got some Warren Lotus stuff, the Suns and uh, Suns and Forty that I think hit Chinatown Market, more Chinatown, Drew House, Supreme. This Supreme tee is actually tough. I don't really wear Supreme like that anymore, but we're big into F1. I really like the F1 tee. We actually have some pretty cool tees coming out, common hype tees in the next collection. You guys are really, really gonna mess with them. All the boys do so far, so we're excited to show you guys those. But a bunch of different clothing going. You guys see, there's another pile here, another pile right here. 
and we also have a bunch already at Scott's sale. So Ben and Drew are gonna walk you guys through that this weekend for the grand opening, everything we have available in that store. Uh, but that's a little midweek update. Tomorrow is Friday, which means tomorrow's the last day to get everything put together before Saturday. So right now we're gonna transition into Friday, which is tomorrow for us and show you guys what we have so far and what we're gonna be unveiling for you guys on Saturday. All right, guys, as you can see, we just got in a bunch of new stuff right here. I know you're probably looking for Brandon. Probably can't hear him, but he's back there doing one knot, screaming his lungs off. Um, shout out to Andrew for bringing all these pairs through. We're good stuff. We got some ALDs right here. Like these a lot. Personal favorites right here though. This gray pair is nasty. We got Devin Booker Air Force Ones. Now the price actually has skyrocketed on these uh, lately. I think the, he was saying like the highest bid or like the lowest ass was like 700 on these. Damn, what are we crazy. paying? 250, I think is what we paid. So not bad, not bad. Can't beat those, some donkeys right there. And people sleep on these, man. I like these a lot. I like these a lot. How do you feel about them, bro? Not bad. They're cool. They're cool. The quality's not that great, but good little shoe to have. And we got a few more pairs of the Red Thunders. Of course, got to stay stacked up on those. Got some mochas in. Always got to have the mochas. We got an eight and a half and a 12. And then we got, what is this, like six pairs of militaries? Great shoe. These are always flying off the shelf, so always good to pick up some more pairs. Finish it off. Got some more Georgetowns right here, a few different sizes, so nice little haul for today. I'm pretty happy with it. Not bad, hey, it Looks good, man. Great job on camera. Thanks, bro. How about Thank it? You'll you. be seeing Hell more yeah. of them. Yes, sir. You'll see me all the time. All right, so today is Friday. I wanted to give you guys one last update before we open tomorrow, October 8th, here at Scottsdale Mall. It's funny, we, uh, there's a sign right here, like a little banner advertisement. And we asked them all how much that costs and they just laughed at us, which probably means it's a lot of money and something that we can't afford. So we're not gonna do that yet, but that'd be sick to have a common hype little advertisement right there. Okay, so you walk in right here, it's black. We're gonna wash it off. It's just like easily washable paint just so nobody can see inside what's going on. As you guys can see, we've got the entire store up here, missing a couple lights up here. It's not exactly the way we want it lit, but until we can find a different solution, again, we have to be open this weekend. So we'll find some solutions going forward to fix the lighting so the whole store lights up a little bit more. On the actual sales floor, just as a reminder, there's gonna be two display cases going down the middle right here. And then you guys have seen the rest of it for the most part. We finally got these six foot industrial, basically shelves that we made from scratch in from our contractor. So this is gonna house all of our shorts. All of our apparel is gonna go down in the middle. We'll have TVs playing advertisements of, of common hype stuff and, and just like maybe YouTube videos and stuff like that. Added a couple plants on the TV boxes inside and on top of them just to add some color to the actual store. There's room right here so we can actually throw some shoes since right now we are basically filled on both sides of, of, of the store with shoes. The bathroom's gonna get figured out. I think we're actually putting more shelves right here, right here. Yeah, putting, uh, yeah we're gonna add four lax shelves here. Uh, we didn't really have a build out for our hats in uh, any accessories and stuff, so they're gonna go right here and add a little space to the wall, so it's a little blank right now. I did a couple mirrors in between that's not actually installed yet. I did these back rack clothing holes right here. Again, more industrial vibe, so just kind of some cool concepts that we have here. It's gonna be packed. The storefront is only 1,500 square feet and there's going to be six, seven sales associates working, so it's gonna feel really crammed in here. We'll have line divider outside controlling the line, someone coordinating traffic in the store, so really excited. So Drew's gonna hold it down really well. You guys are going to see Scott Sills' grand opening video next week, along with Boston Got Souls video. Bryce and I will be back in the shop Sunday immediately when we get back from Boston, hanging out here at the shop all day. So fortunately, we won't be here for a grand opening, but we'll be here the remaining couple days when Scott Sills opens. So Sweet. Drew, yeah. this is your sort of run. We're excited for you. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be good. Scott Sills is gonna be really, really good for us. So we're excited. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning into the channel. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed this. Drop a comment if you guys are gonna come to our grand opening this weekend. See you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed.